Hi guys, how you doing? It's Chris here from Carmarthen Cameras and we're here again with another bit of a video shoot. So, as you probably saw at the top there, today we're going to be talking about the all new EOS R8. Now, you've probably already seen on our YouTube channel, we uh, were invited to Birmingham very kindly by Canon UK uh, for the launch of this product, which was all super exciting and things, but how does it fare in the real world? And that today is exactly what we're going to be looking at. So, me and Steve are heading out, we're going to be heading over to the, uh, the famous bridge in in Carmarthen, take some shots and uh, and see what this camera is really capable of in a real world scenario. Come on, Rob boy, you can't park here much. <laughs> Right guys, so we're in the middle of uh, Carmarthen town at the moment, just having a leisurely stroll through, just out in front of this nice little bit of architecture, which I reckon we're gonna stop and we're gonna take some shots of, just to see uh, how the resolution holds up for this camera. So guys, we're fast approaching our destination, which is the bridge in the middle of Carmarthen town. We did just stop off a moment ago outside the old courthouse in the center of Carmarthen, which is absolutely awesome, just to get some still shots of some beautiful architecture there uh, and try out, uh, try out the camera in terms of resolution, etc. We did just stop off at the, uh, at the, top, of the top of the hill just behind me to try out, uh, as you can see, on the busy road here, some of the vehicle detect autofocus. Now, that was super, super easy to get into. Uh, all I had to do was push the Q set button on the back of the camera and uh, turn on servo autofocus. And then the option underneath it, directly underneath it, allows you to uh, tell the camera which subject it is that you want to focus on. So this camera, the R8, like its bigger brothers, the R5, the R6 Mark II, and the R3, has several different focusing uh, subjects. So cars, planes, trains, I think they've added uh, on a latest firmware. And then you've got the, uh, the human face and eye detect as well as animal face and eye detect, which, uh, which was a feature in the, in the previous generation, the R and the RP. So absolutely awesome to see that in, a, uh, in what Canon are calling an, an entry level full frame, if there is such a thing, uh, they've given you all of those amazing features. And actually, the autofocus is surprisingly good uh, on a camera that comes in at sub 2,000 um, pounds. It really does lock on to subject and it kind of doesn't let them go. But that's kind of what we come to expect from Dual Pixel CMOS RAW 2. It's a phenomenal autofocusing system. The algorithms are absolutely fantastic. And Canon really have fine-tuned them into a beautifully compact little package. And, that is another unique selling feature of this camera is just how small and lightweight and compact it is but boy is it packing a lot under the hood and uh, i can't wait to show you a little bit more so steve let's head on over to the bridge and we'll do a little bit more on uh, on the specs of this bad boy let's do it So guys, now that we've had a little look at the fantastic still images that this camera produces, we can't leave this video without talking about the absolutely fantastic video spec that this thing packs straight out of the box. So the headline feature on that is the 4K60 shooting capabilities uh, directly to the UHS-2 card slot. It also boasts 120 frames per second, as well as 180 frames a second at 1080p, which is more than enough for the modern day content creator, or you would be YouTubers out there. Absolutely fantastic. It's got the HQ mode on there as well, so you can add high dynamic range to all of your video and your stills footage, uh, as well as C-Log3, which is in this camera straight out of the box, which is absolutely fantastic. And what you'll find is that if you're looking uh, at this camera for any type of color grading, or you know you need to push and pull that file, shadows and highlights, etc., you can shoot all of that C-Log3 
to the absolutely amazing clear screen on the back here and uh, and you get a very professional almost cinematic looking video straight out of camera which is absolutely fantastic and what what more can we ask for for sub two thousand pounds and that's the that's the boy there for a full fa full frame camera right now uh this one is uh, is one that i would absolutely consider but hey listen let's uh, let's quit the chit chat and let's carry on shooting Well, there we go, guys. The sun has gone in, which draws a, uh, a pretty, uh, pretty snappy conclusion to this uh, to this video. But in terms of the R8, I mean, I, when we started this video, I was sort of thinking about, well, who's this camera really aimed at? Because you, you've got the R3 and the R5 as the sort of the flagships, if you will. R6 Mark II is that sort of semi-professional, you know, uh, leaning towards the pro end of the market, sort of hybrid, if you will. Um, and obviously with the R and the RP very quickly disappearing, I suppose the R8 kind of fills that real gap there that's been left by those two, by those two cameras sort of all, all, almost being discontinued. So um, that's where the R8 kind of sits, but who's it aimed at? Well, I guess it's, it's for the hybrid, really. You know, the video specs, the, sp the still specs, it, it kind of does everything really, really well. Um, that coupled with the autofocusing system and a couple of points that I didn't mention. So if you're a sports or a wildlife enthusiast or, or, you know, or even, even getting towards pro and you need a second camera body, the R8 is very, very capable at that with, a, with an absolutely blistering uh, 40 frames a second uh, burst mode with, um, with, I believe, it's six frames per second on the uh, on the first curtain um, and also 30 frames per second raw burst with a 0.5 second pre-capture uh, which makes it again absolutely no slouch when it comes to tracking moving subjects that all coupled uh, with the new algorithm that's in there for animals uh, birds trains planes human face and eye detect it's it's all in there and that that kind of gets me thinking so when you look at the price point for that yeah i th i think this is for the either the guys that are trying to get into full frame for the first time very very good camera for that or the guys that already have maybe an r6 or an r6 mark ii that are just looking for a second camera body that will sort of fit into a, a camera bag and and make for an absolutely fantastic backup but not only that, if you're a YouTuber, a videographer, maybe you've even had some of Canon's, uh, you know, the M series cameras, the, uh, the M50 Mark II, for example, and you were looking to upgrade and maybe go full frame and get that, that you know, that, that best out of the dynamic range, this is a very, very good step to, to, to sort of, to get into that, that market. And it's, it's all RF mounting, so you have, a plethora of RF lenses available for this camera system now. You know, Canon's roadmap for, for lenses has been very, very good with some fantastic new announcements and releases, as well as that back catalogue of lenses that they already have there. So, yeah, I think this camera ticks a, a hell of a lot of boxes. You know, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got GPS, it's got all of those features in there as well. The new 4 gigahertz uh, beacon makes this a very, very usable camera. Uh, you can now tether this through directly to phones and iPads, etc., uh, and get uh, you know very very reliable connectivity out of the camera there. So, but the biggest point is that is that price point. This is a sub two thousand pound camera body and. I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. So if you would like any further information on any of the features or you're looking to buy the camera, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us, www.kamarthencameras.com. You can also contact us on all social media at Kamarthen Cameras. That's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hopefully you're already watching this on YouTube, so don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button, and uh, most importantly, smash that bell icon so that you can keep up to date with all of the latest goings on at Wales's largest camera store.